Hi there, in this video I'm gonna show you how to put special effects and in this case how to put explosion behind your tree in your video. Hi guys, welcome back, stay motivated, make another video today. So normally when you put the effects it's gonna be kind of on the top of the video which is gonna always appear in front of objects, let's say this tree, but we wanna put it behind. So that's what we're gonna do with the masking tools in Final Cut Pro today. Okay guys, I'm outside with my son, AKA the talent in the video. Say hi. Hello. And by the way, Chris, for thank, you, thank you for helping me. You're welcome. All right guys, so we're gonna find a tree wide enough to basically cover Chris and we'll show you. How about this? No, that's too skinny. Let's find another one. Sorry guys, this is slightly dark, but Chris is gonna be kind of before, you know, standing right before the tree. And we're gonna basically put this on tripod, I'll show you right now. So guys, to make it even better, we have this little toy grenade, right, Boo? Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna pretty much throw it on the floor and Chris is gonna hide behind the tree. Basically, add to the story even more, I make my son to basically go and throw the grenade, you see? So we're gonna put these elements, him throwing the grenade like this. So we're gonna basically cut this clip, put it as a that's kind of first part of the scene that there is basically the grenade going in there. Obviously, we're gonna cut my son out from the frame. So this is gonna be kind of like a first, first part of the clip to sell your story even better. Then you just basically build the story. So, so you, the next thing, the grenade was on the floor. Then we're gonna basically have my son running here and do this kind of crawler because he's kind of hiding from the explosion. And then we're gonna add this little part. Obviously, normally you would add footsteps and this and that, but I just want to show you like how this is going to look. So here is what we basically got right now. With the grenade and follow with the other sequence. So now we have this layer of video. We're going to basically command C, which is copy. And then we're gonna do a command V and basically copy the layer. Sometimes it doesn't go on top. Then we basically remove the audio from the first layer. I think we're not gonna use any of this audio anyways, but okay, so we do this. Now we get the explosions. I already imported some explosion from my files. And for the time being, we put the explosion on top of basically of the entire two layers of video. This is like third layer on top. The reason for it is because we wanna see exactly how it looks. Now we're gonna reduce opacity and then we can adjust it exactly where we want the explosion to be, how small, how big and this and that. So we're gonna go to the second layer right now. We're gonna basically click masks, draw mask and put it on the second layer. And now we're gonna basically, and we can actually put this explosion on the bottom first. And now we're gonna basically mask around every single piece that we need to mask around. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna basically mask around this stone, let's say. See, so now we have the explosion going on. But it does not go to, to basically to my son. You see what I mean? Here you go. So now we're gonna make the explosion appear at full capacity. And then we're gonna find some, some sound effect. So now we have obviously explosion effect. So we can add it additionally when it starts. I would say somewhere here. And here is basically the effect. And you can play around with the feathering of the tree, obviously. You know, put little feather around, it's gonna make it even more natural. But generally speaking, this is the effect. But additionally, to make the effect even better, you can put some little smog or dust or what have you. So there you go. See, there is this little dust. This kind of natural. And also, put the flame behind the tree. So basically, let's say put it below the layer of the actual explosion. So now what's gonna happen? 
See, so now when the explosion ends, you're gonna have the fire still remaining kind of on the tree. Okay, and let me play the clip for you now. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this Final Cut Pro tutorial. If you need some other tutorials, let me know which one. And also stay motivated, make another video today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!